I search thrift stores, Goodwills, garage sales, and more for possible treasures. Then I decide whether to purchase or pass. Watch what I do and decide for yourself. Would you buy it? So another day of community garage sales, but the weather was not good. It was kind of rainy, misty, threatening. So uh, some garage sales that should have been really good were, were far and few in between. But managed to find a few things. Uh, let me show you a couple things that I got for my son. Some huge Harman, Harman Kardon ADR 154. I don't actually know what it is, but look at all these connections. The guy seemed like he really wanted to sell stuff. And I'm like, how much? So he's like, make an offer. I'm like, 10 bucks. Thinking he'll say at least 20, but he took it. So, and then we were at another place. And uh, actually, I saw this. This is a Pioneer Elite. So it's an Elite, right? So it's got to be good. And it's priced at 70 bucks. I actually walked by it, but I had to walk back the same way. And I figured, I'll just take a picture and send it to my son. He's too cheap. He'll never pay that. But I text him, and he gets all excited. And he's like, yeah, I would take it. I offered the person 40 and they asked for 50 so I got it for 50 So that's on him. Here's my favorite thing. A strawberry shortcake uh, hippity hop. So, oh, 2006, it's not even vintage. Oh, mm. these are some Lego dudes. Uh, I don't even, I think they're mostly real Lego. They were in a, like a, a catch-all box of stuff. I, I love uh, the big Duplo Lego guys. I'll keep him. The dad says a buck. The kid's with me, he's like, no dad, 75 cents. I just gave him two bucks because it's, it's worth it. I may or may not even sell them. It's probably not even worth it. They're certainly worth two bucks, but selling them is whatever. I'll show a closer look at this in a minute. A bunch of plastic bill sets. Um, some in the box, some not. Uh, it's hard to say was what the person really didn't know. Like there's a police department kit, but the empty box. The guy's like, well, I know some people want empty boxes. So there's a bunch of stuff. They were asking 10, I offered five. He took it, which surprised me. And of course, I had to get some records. Nothing as great as uh, two weeks ago. So this was my first batch. They were 25 cents each, so I didn't even bother looking them up. Diana Ross and the Supremes. Uh, the Tramps, I can't remember if they're any good. Some more, again, a bunch of the Supremes, actually. I figure I'll lock them up. Again, at 25 cents each, it's like, okay, whatever. Like, tons of Supremes. And this one is a Taste of Honey. It's got a, a pipe sticker. Boogie Oogie Woogie, which I guess was their smash hit. Fifth Dimension, uh, the Marvelettes, old school. So I got two of these. Uh, Beach Boils Wild Honey, I'm not sure. Looks like it's in decent condition. Isaac Hayes Shaft. And then this is two different batches. So these are all a buck each, nothing, nothing crazy. Family Dog, I have no clue who it is. For Sea Train, sometimes you just don't know and you're like, I never heard of it, so I'm just gonna get it. Billy Joel, The Bridge. Again, it's got the wrap and it's got uh, the hype sticker, so I figure what the heck. Um, Miami Sound Machine. Sesame Street, sometimes these are worth something. Lisa Lisa and the Cult Jam. T-Bone Burnett. Uh, he did a lot of producing. I've got Marshall Crenshaw and some other guys. This is actually Pink Floyd. Um, it's beat to hell. The double album set, Uma Guma. You know that's gonna be good, so. I mean, it was a buck, so what the heck. Jeff Rattel, Aqualung. Mamas and the Papas, we dedicated to the one I love is a good song, though. So this is Derek and the Dominoes, Layla. So that might be something. Rain Parade. I used to go with my friend, we used, uh, we'd go to record stores and sometimes we'd buy tapes um, at random, just because we liked the look of them. And there was this uh, tape I bought, Rain Parade. And they're this kind of soft, easy music kind of stuff. And, oh my God. And uh, that would have been funny. That would, you know, actually that would probably go a lot more viral. So I'm gonna just do it, go ahead, Ugh. No, but uh, so I never saw this album. So that was crazy. And then look at this. Who is this, Emily? I don't know. Minnie Pearl. She was at the Grand Ole Opry. Remember we went to the Grand Ole Opry, Nashville? Yeah. Okay. Howdy, Minnie Pearl. Do I know if that's actually a real signature? It does have a number. The guy said he thought it was number 54 out of 100. For two bucks, right? It's Even if it's worth squat, it's fine. So so overall, you know, some decent things. Those two <coughs> um, stereo components are probably actually worth a lot, uh, but my son will not necessarily even sell those. I almost forgot this 25 cent awesome pinball machine. So yeah, it's like, and it kind of works. So welcome to Plasticville. A nice, beautiful town we all wish we lived in. It does hold some secrets. 
Two fire departments speak to a higher number of arsons than you would expect for a town this size. But it's a lovely town. In the distance you see a bucolic farmhouse. And finally, a diner. And Superman fighting for his life against a giant. It's not all complete. Cracks here. This one's missing the thing. Uh, a couple of signs I think are missing. Roof is missing. This is complete, including the weather vane. Sweet. And the diner's actually complete. Police department I don't have. I don't have a gas station. I have the two fire ones, part of the school, and the diner. The diner's actually cool. These are not worth a ton. Uh, like, an I only paid five, or maybe $20 for them, but probably not a lot more. This is going to be an unboxing, I guess an unbagging, really, of uh, two big bags of uh, cassette tapes that I got from Goodwill. Um, it's crapshoot. I obviously got it because of Koleti Polski. Now, there's a couple things that made me get it. They weren't crazy cheap. Uh, they were each upside down, but four bucks. Beastie Boys. Hey, ladies. You know, there's one Beastie Boys. You hope there's another. It was really hard to see what was what here. This one at the moment, I can't find it, but it had uh, two Beatles tapes in it. So uh, I'm going to unbag these now. So children's favorites. Let's see if it's actually in there. I'll give you a sense. Yeah. That might be something. KT Oslin, I don't think so. Depeche Mode. Yeah, Depeche Mode's great, but, you know, homemade tape, probably not. Paul McCartney, Flaming Pie. Actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a bunch of Polish ones. So I'm going to put a Polish pile over there. John Cersei. Again, nice Polish ones. Oh my God, these are so friggin' dirty. Ah, here's the Beatles. Past Masters, Volumes 1 and 2, please be in here. So, yep, Volume 1. Oh, thank God, Volume A Jew Revolution. So those seem to be in there. So that's so far the best thing. Now, it'd be funny to see if any of these Polish things are worth anything. I bet you these guys are groovy in Poland, right? I'm Polish, so I'm not making fun of the Polish people. Handles the Messiah. Nobody wants that. Again, some more Polish. Polish, gosh. Elton John's here as hits. That's something. There you go. See, there's another Beatles. Part two. A platter's. So I gotta see if that's in a different tape, but that sucks. There was a third bag that I didn't buy. The Eagles? Hell freezes over. Empty. Nice. Disco. Empty. All right, so that was not awesome. So let me go to the next one. Let's see if that's actually in there. It's not. This is an 8 millimeter video cleaning cassette, and it's sealed, so God help me. I might have to sell that to cover my cloth. The Beatles, let it be. Okay. Baroquin. Pretext. Disco, let's see if that's even in there. Eric Clapton. So these are all a bunch of crud. Beatles Part 1. Classic Queen. Well, Classic Queen's interesting, but it's not friggin' the... Rolling Stone, Hot Rocks. Eric Clapton. Disco Polo. That's Polish. That's Polish disco. That'll be worth a lot. Elton John's Greatest Hits. Disco Polo. What it means to be Jewish. So this is basically what I got. A bunch of junk. I might be able to salvage a little something with the Beatles Past Masters 1 and 2. They're both there. They both are actually relatively clean. May or may not sell that. I uh, don't know about this. Alton John's Greatest Hits. Not worth it. I may just list these to see. Outgoing message tape. Not worth anything. Cobra. I thought that was cool. Uh, I haven't looked this up yet, but this is that cleaning head. So I listed the uh, cleaning cassette, and amazingly, it sold within two hours for about $28. Look at this. Kind of pinkish cassette. No, I'm going to keep that. Bunch of Eric Clapton. I don't care about. Garbage platters. I don't care about. Classic Queen. Too bad. And the Beatles let it be. Again, broken. Covers that trick me. Beastie Boys, nothing. The Beatles part one and two. Empty. Rolling Stones, nothing. I mean, I guess I'll co cover my cost, but yikes. Not the best purchase. I wanted to show this. It's kind of like a sleeve. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. I've never seen it. Like you can put any little tape in there. And this is just, like you can pull this out of here. Super cheap, but kind of fun. Once you fiddle with it, you get it down, and then it locks. Like, that's sweet. Who wouldn't want that?